Hey everyone, Christina Simmons from Say Yes to Holiness here. So I just wanted to, during this week of Thanksgiving, I wanted to go ahead and talk a little bit about how can we turn our fears into blessings. Hey, good morning, Kanye. So glad you're able to join me today. I'm talking about how can we turn our fears into blessings. And very appropriate because here in the United States, this is Thanksgiving week. Tomorrow is actually the official day of Thanksgiving. And many of us are traveling or we're actually with family and friends or we're going to see family and friends. And sometimes what happens is, is that we get overwhelmed with stress and anxiety, don't we? And usually it's because of fear. And so I was listening to this wonderful um, podcast uh, that's done by Kyrie Vari. And it's the, um, gosh, I'm going to have to put it in the show notes, but I'm pretty sure it is the, um, oh, uh, Mindset uh, Mastery. Um, uh, or, no, sorry. Ma- <laughs> mastery Matrix. Um, and so anyway, but, um, great podcast, but she was speaking about the fact of, you know, where all of our fears come from. And it got me to thinking about the fact that so much of what is kind of, you might say, we look and say is negative in our lives is actually a blessing in disguise. And it has to come back to changing our perspective. It's about putting on the eyeglasses and the perspective of our Lord and looking at what we think are negatives or bad things and saying, no, those are actually blessings. Those are actually places where, as St. Paul tells us, God works together in our weakness. Hey, Roy, I'm glad you can join me this morning. So this is Thanksgiving week and I was just talking a little bit right now about how can we turn our fears into blessings. So for example, what, what might I be talking about? Well, many times, uh, you know, the most common one that people uh, speak of nowadays is that fear of missing out. You know, oh, we're afraid to miss out. And uh, so a lot of times this comes from we're living in a place of scarcity. We're living in a, you know, perspective that there's not enough to go around, that I'm not going to be able to uh, get what I need or that other people are going to get things that I need. And I and so it's that place of scarcity and that's where that fear comes in. So how could you turn that into a blessing? Well, by turning it into a blessing in reminding and spending time, that perspective, that our God cares for everything. If he was to stop thinking about us right now, we would stop breathing. So the fact is that he is caring for us, even in the midst of our greatest challenges and our heartaches and the difficulties, our Lord is present. He's right there beside us. But how often do we not invite him into our journey? And so it's about allowing him to be able to remind us that we can trust him, that he is going to give us exactly what we need exactly when we need it. Hey, man, like, so glad that you're able to join me. So happy Thanksgiving. So how can we keep turning those fears into blessings? So that fear of missing out, how can we change that into a blessing? By inviting our Lord in and saying, Lord, let me trust in you. Jesus, I trust in you. And it becomes a blessing because it's an opportunity for us to encounter our Lord. So that's where that fear of missing out, we can turn it into a blessing of being able to encounter our Lord and grow in trust of him. So another thing uh, is sometimes we might not even know that this is fear at work. How about procrastination? Yeah. So where does procrastination come from? Procrastination actually is at the root of we're afraid to leave where we are right now. As a person or the circumstances, we're afraid of whatever is the next thing that's going to come because we don't know exactly what that next thing is, right? So it's that uncertainty, it's that not knowing enough, it's leaving our comfort zone. And that leads us to procrastinate because it's like, uh, I'm, I'm afraid to move on. So how can we turn this into a blessing? Well, whenever procrastination is showing up in your life, recognize it for what it is. Recognize it that this is fear at work in your life. 
And who loves for us to live in fear? No, no one better than the evil one. Because he loves for us to be fearful and to be uncertain. So how can we turn it into a blessing? Well, when procrastination shows up, say, all right, Lord, I know that I'm afraid of something. Give me clarity. Help me discern what it is that I'm afraid of. Am I afraid of having to change? Or am I afraid of looking foolish because I don't know enough? Or am I afraid that this is going to stretch me and, and, I, and, I, and I can't do this? And see, that's another place of where fear comes from, is from our childhood, okay? And you got these tapes running around of where I'm not enough, I can't be enough, all right? Or it comes from ignorance, and ignorance is not a bad thing. Remember, ignorance is not a bad thing. Ignorance is simply not knowing. But our world, which is all about knowledge and looking like you're an expert, is all about knowing, isn't it? Yeah. But our Lord told us all the time. He told us all the time. You can't, you don't, you know, you're not seeing, you're not hearing, you're not understanding as my Father, as our Father sees. So when we see procrastination, we have the opportunity to say, Lord, give me clarity. And that's where we can turn into a blessing because the more clarity that we allow to happen in our lives, and this comes through discernment, one, we have an awareness. So the awareness is, is that we procrastinate. And then understanding, why is it that I'm procrastinating? What is it that I'm afraid of? And then taking action. So we gain clarity. And then we're able to go ahead and take action. Now, that doesn't mean that procrastination goes away immediately. No, that isn't how it works. But rather, it's about us. The blessing is that we get to grow in clarity about how it is and what it is that our Lord desires for us. And to not be afraid of it. So, that's a couple of ways that we can turn these fears into blessings. So, what's, a, what's another piece? And it ties into what I talked about. You know, from our fears usually are rooted in our childhood. In some sort of, you know, shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Uh, so that whole thing of I can't or I have to, um, you know, but, um, and or ignorance, you know. And because we are ignorant, we don't know something, it creates a fear of change at all. So we tend to shy away from those things that we don't know, right? So it's something where we can change, we can take action by going to learn about those. But... You know, I talked about fear of missing out. I talked about, you know, procrastination. What's another way? Well, another way that our fear might be showing up is in our impatience or our overwhelm. Yeah. From our impatience or being overwhelmed. And our impatience, really, it comes from a fear of failure. We're afraid to fail. We want to see success now, right? We want to experience now what it is that we are desiring. So we get impatient. How can we turn that into a blessing? Again, we can come and we can say, Lord, help me grow in patience. Help me grow in trust of your ways, of how it is that you desire for me to grow and to come to be who you created me to be. Help me not be impatient. And man, our Lord is patient with us, isn't he? I know he's patient with me. I don't know how many times. I haven't been able to see something. I've been afraid of something. I've been insisting on doing it my way. All of those things that we don't like, we didn't choose, we can't change, and we don't understand. All of those things. Our Lord is patient with us. And he shows us, hey, I'm caring for you. Hey, trust in me. I'm going to provide all things for you. You don't have to worry about, is there enough? Because there is. Our Lord is trying to work in this way for us, if we but allow him in. So that impatience and then that overwhelm is about the fear of losing control. It's about that fear of the uncertainty again. So how can we turn these things into blessings? It's about spending time with our Lord and allowing him to remind us of his care, to allow him to remind us of his love, to re be reminded of how he has provided for us 
even in the midst of our stubbornness, even in the midst of our grasping onto control of our lives, and he still comes into our lives and works. So these are all the many ways that we can turn these fears into blessings. But it all begins with one thing, doesn't it? It begins with spending time with him. And it could be the briefest of time. But to spend time each morning with him who loves us beyond measure. So it's that habit of daily prayer and meditation. And I know the first thing that most people say is, oh, I don't have time. But the fact is, is that you have all the time in the world. Don't come from a place of fearful scarcity. Don't come up from a place of fear of losing control. Rather, come and spend that time. Spend that little bit of time. Allow God to fill you with the eternal moment. Allow him to fill you with his love. Allow him to fill you with trust and with hope. And knowing that all things will be well. Because he works through our weakness. And that's the whole key about turning fears into blessings. It's about seeing each of our fears as an opportunity for God to come and to work through our weakness. To bring about the result which he desires for all of us. For us to live lives of purpose and peace and abundance. For us to be come those living, breathing, and wonder-working saints that he created us to be. Because sanctity is not about perfection. It's about wholeness. And that's why it's holiness. We become whole. How do we become whole? Not because of what we do, but because of what God does. So as you're entering into this weekend, this long weekend of Thanksgiving, remember any of those anxieties, any of those fears, any of those things that you might be struggling with. Allow God to make them blessings and give thanks for them because they're opportunities for you to continue on this journey, to come to a life of purpose and peace and abundance, to come to a life which is going to be full of his love and mercy, to come to a life that he has always desired for you, that he created you for, and give thanks for those things. Give thanks for the one who loves us and give thanks for all of the many things in your life. Even those things that you do not like, you can't change, you don't understand, and you are definitely not choosing. So it's one of those opportunities for us to truly grow, to become whole. So this is my blessing, my hope for all of you this Thanksgiving. And I hope that you will consider joining me throughout Advent. And what do I mean? It means go and sign up for the 40-day celebration. And it's real simple. You go to sayyestoholiness.com and right there in the middle is the 40-day celebration. Click on it, sign up, and beginning this Sunday, you're going to get a daily email. It's going to be very short. It's going to have an opening prayer. It's going to have a short uh, excerpt from my book and then a reflection as well as a, daily, as a prayer prompt as well as a daily action step. And from there, you're able to allow our Lord to come and to work through your weakness, to create that place of silence and solitude where he is able to help you see that all of your fears are truly blessings. So I hope that you join me. Go to sayyestoholiness.com and sign up today. And I look forward to seeing you throughout the Advent season and Christmas season because each Monday night, I'm going to be getting on a Zoom call and I'm going to be spending time with people in which we're going to celebrate. We're going to share some stories and journeys and also we're going to be able to learn together how we can turn our fears into blessings and become the saints that God created us to be. Have a blessed day, everybody.